If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up, guys? This is your boy DZD, aka the Drink Hank Purple World Entertainment, coming at you live from the Dungeon Palace Studios with another video. You know how we do. We're in a lab cooking up. Today, I'm gonna give you the secret sauce on how and why I filter my samples. It is very simple. A lot of producers use this method. I learned it a long time ago, and this is basically for the guys that don't know about it and for the guys that wanna know how to do it. Filtering your samples can give your beats different textures, and it also can bring in different elements of your beat when you want it to change, if you know what you're doing. So we're gonna compose a nice sample beat, and I'm gonna take you through the small tip, that way you can filter your samples and get them on point. You can do this inside of any software, any DAW, just as long as you understand the concept of what's being done here. But as always, before we get into it, please do smash that subscribe button, and also smash that bell notification so you do not miss out on any of the content that I'm gonna be bringing to you. So let's jump inside the NPC software. We're gonna make this beat, and then I'm gonna show you how to filter these samples. Let's do it. All right, my people, we are live inside the NPC software, and I have a sample pulled up. I'm gonna try and work with it. I'm gonna pitch that up a lot, man. I'm gonna pitch that up probably like plus three. So we can do with that. I'm gonna time stretch that. After I do the pitch, I like to work with the time stretch. So I'm gonna go on and time stretch that. Let's say 180. Let's see how that works. See if we can work with that. Man. Let's go to chop, and then we go chop that to regions. Convert that to a program. Go to track two. Like that. All right, I'm gonna control A, to select all the notes. I'm gonna control C to copy it. I'm gonna control right bracket, and I'm gonna control V to paste the notes. I wanna go on and put a high and low end on this sample. So I wanna separate the sample out. So we're gonna have um, low end on track two, and then we're gonna have high end on track three. So let's do that. We're gonna go to track two, and we're gonna solo that, and we're gonna put an EQ on there. First of all, let's let's uh let's duplicate the program. That way we have two programs. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna tap the program, we're gonna hit the pencil tool, and then we're gonna hit duplicate. All right, so now we have that track, we have uh, a second track duplicated. So we're gonna go to track two, and we're gonna put an EQ on the first one, and we're gonna make this our low end track. So let's grab our EQ. The object of when you're doing your low end EQ is to make sure that the sample has enough high end to breathe, but not too much because you want to put the high end on the other track. So you got to get the sample just right to where it can carry a nice little back end melody as the track plays. Let's try and go with a cut instead of a, 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 uh, a shelf. Let's go with a cut. That should be good enough. All right, then we're gonna unsolo that. We're gonna go to track three and we're going to put our second program on track three and we're gonna give it another EQ. 
Boom. Let's pull up that EQ, and then we're going to work with a high end. And we're going to blend this in. See, the trick is to take all of the high end out, all the way, and then you bring it back slowly. Don't try and do it from this end and come down and bring it because you're not going to hear it. You got to take the high end all the way out that way. All you hear is the low sample playing, and then you ease the high end back in to where the sample starts to blend back in. So let's, let's do it. We're going to put it all the way down. And all you should hear is just the low, the low end sample. See how the sample gets full again right around 2K, so that's where we're gonna leave it. So now I have the high end on this track, I have the low end on the other track. That's just a quick way of how you blend samples in together, how you separate the high and low end. Just make sure that when you get the low end right, work with the low end first and get that correct. And once you get the low end to where you chop off all of that high end, but leave a little lightness in there just to breathe, a little mid end just to breathe, then you go ahead on and put the high end sample on the next track. And then you duck all the high end out and then slowly, gradually bring it back to where the sample starts to become full again. All right, let's put some drums in this bad boy. Let's go to track one. We're going to go to browser. We're going to work with some drums. That's the drums. All right, let's drop the 808 in. What a nice punch of 808. track build and we filtered out the samples so check out how the filter samples run i'm going to show you how that runs so this is the low end sample this is kind of like the verse that the artist would be rapping on that way the high end doesn't block his vocals so if you're running just the low end his vocals should shit right on top of that so this is the verse <laughs> it 
back for the verse again. with your filter samples. If you filter your samples out, put EQs on one end and the other end, high and low end, you can let that low end sample ride and then you bring back in a high end sample whenever you wanna spice up uh, the track again for the chorus. So just a quick tip on how you uh, separate your frequencies on your samples to get them to fall in high and low end. And yeah, I hope this, uh, this technique helps you guys out. That concludes the video, guys. I hope from just this simple technique and using a high and low end filters on your samples will show you how you can bring in different textures to your beats and you can also bring in different composition parts to your beat, like a chorus and a verse part of your music. If you found any benefit in this small tip and you want more tips just like this one, by all means, drop me a comment below, show your support, smash that like button. I really appreciate it. It really encourages me to keep getting this content out to you guys. Thanks so much for that. Thank you guys for also supporting the recent project, the Hit List Project Kit. I see all the feedback from it. Thank you guys so much for showing the love, for downloading that. I put my heart and soul into making those beats for you and also stemming all of those sounds out for you. So thank you guys for the compliments. Thank you guys for the shout outs. I appreciate it. If you have not went get it, please go grab that from my website. It is there now and it's available to you. Trust me, you will not be disappointed in what you get in this project kit. I'll leave a link in the video description that way you guys can check it out. That does it for the video guys. Make sure you shoot me a follow on Instagram at The Drink King. This is the kid DZD aka The Drink King Purple World Entertainment live from the Dungeon Palace Studios and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out.